Hi everybody, it's Ms. Kosh. Um, today I wanted to clarify some of the things we were talking about in class with law of sine, law of cosine. Um, this is not part of the AP Pre-Cal curriculum, but I think it's important and um, yeah, so I'm teaching it anyway. <laughs> um, so as we get started here, um, I know AP is going to keep us in radians the whole time, but these problems work best in degrees. So with my Casio, just a reminder, you go to setup and then change, make sure it says degrees down here. It's already in degrees, um, but I can verify because at the top it'll tell me degrees, so I know if I'm in degrees or radians. Will I tell you how to do that during your test? Nope, you need to know how to do that. Okay, so let's say I have a triangle. I'm just drawing a random triangle, A, B, C, and I tell you I have side lengths of 10, 11, and 18. Okay, what we, um, we know side, 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 there's exactly one triangle to this. It's not ambiguous as to what these need to be, but depending on how we solve this triangle, it can be, um, we can get wrong answers. So let me tell you my, um, let me tell you my recommendation and show you what happens if we don't <laughs> follow my recommendation. My recommendation would be to always find the biggest angle first. Um, so notice that the longest side here is, this is not drawn to scale, but the longest side is 18, and so the largest angle is going to be angle B. So if I find angle B, then if B is obtuse, the law of cosine will find that for me, and then I can just keep going and find A and C. Okay, what I'm talking about, think unit circle. If I have an angle and its supplement, so this is angle X, and then this one that got us all the way to here is the supplement of that. So you could think pi minus x, um, except in this world, I tend to think in degrees. So this is 180 minus x. This acute angle and this obtuse angle, okay, so in this quadrant, we're acute. In this quadrant, we're obtuse. In, this, in quadrant one, sine is positive and cosine is positive. In quadrant two, sine is still positive, but cosine is now negative. Okay, and so if I take, if I have, if I'm going to find the inverse sine of some value, I don't know, some value, well, I don't really want to call it x. Let's call it k, because that's our favorite letter. If I'm taking the inverse sine of k, k could be this acute angle, or k could be this obtuse angle, and I'm going to get, um, oh, hang on, let me try that again. If I'm saying sine of some angle theta is equal to k, my theta can be acute or obtuse, and it would have the same um, sine value of, of um, sine ratio of k. But if I take, if I say that theta is equal to the inverse sine of k, this must be an acute angle. So I have to know, well, I, maybe I want the acute angle, but maybe I want the obtuse angle. Meanwhile, cosine, if I take, if I have cosine of theta is equal to some negative value, let's just call it um, negative. <laughs> We're just gonna say this is negative then this has to be in quadrant two. It's going to give me the obtuse angle. If cosine, if I'm taking the inverse cosine of something positive, it's going to give me an acute angle and it's going to be in quadrant one. Okay, so let's see what happens. With this particular problem, I might use the rule that it's cosine of b is equal to a squared plus c squared minus b squared over 2ac. I can plug in my values a is 11, so it's 11 squared, c is 10, minus 18 squared over 2 times 11 times 10. Okay, I can grab my calculator. Um, I like to set up this. Uh, what were my numbers? 11 squared plus 10 squared minus 18 squared divided by 2 times 10 times 11. That was easy to multiply by hand, but I didn't do it. Okay, so now notice what we just got. We just got that cosine of b is equal to a negative 103 over 220. Negative tells me this is an obtuse angle. Okay, so inverse cosine of that answer. So my angle b is about 117.9 degrees. I should probably round more, but I'm too lazy to write it right now. Okay, so then I can use that and come back here and say, well, let's, we can use the law of sine to find a missing angle. Um, so I could say sine of B, 117.9, over 18 is equal to, could you see where that is? Um, yeah, I think you can see everything I'm doing. Is equal to uh, sine of A over 11. Okay, now when I solve this, I have sine of A is equal to 11 sine of 117.9. My numbers may not be perfect because I rounded, um, but 
No need to let perfect get in the way of the good. Okay, so 11 sine 117.9 over 18. Here's that ratio. I can find the inverse sine of that answer. And I just found that A is about 32.7 degrees. Okay, um, then I can go ahead and find the other scenario um, at, at that point. Um, okay, so what did we just found, find? We found that this is 117-ish, this is 33-ish, and therefore we can add it up from, and that gives us 180 minus, oh, I'll keep a decimal place, 117.9 minus 32.7, so 29.4, so about 29 degrees, whatever, something like that. Okay, so that C value was about 29.4. Okay, however, if I did this differently, because I have options on how to solve this triangle, if I found angle C first, and I said, okay, cosine of C is equal to A squared plus B squared minus C squared over 2AB, plug everything in, cosine of C is equal to, what is the little A, 11 squared, B was 18, okay, so then minus 10 squared over 2 times 11 times 18, Grab the calculator again, set up that fraction, 11 and 18, we have 11 squared plus 18 squared minus 10 squared divided by 2 times 11 times 18. Okay, here's this value, inverse cosine of that answer. And that 29.4 29 looks familiar. We just solved for angle C. We said C was about 29.4, which matches what we got a second ago. That's good. But now if I try and do the law of sine to find B, um, hang on, let me, if I try and do the law of sine to find B, what I would know is that sine of B over 18 is equal to sine of 29.4, that's my C angle, over 10. Okay, so sine of B is equal to 18 sine of 29.4 over 10. Well, grab a calculator. 18 sine of 29.4 over 10 inverse sine of the answer, and I get that B is about 62.1-ish. Okay, um, I've rounded, so this may not work out perfectly. Um, I rounded with this, this number, so if I had been more precise with all my decimals, I'd be um, closer to the previous answer. But notice my B value was 117. Um, and notice here, okay, this is now saying I've got triangle A, B, C across from Okay, let's compare. I just want to rewrite this. Um, angle A was 33. Angle B, angle C was 29 that we just found. This was 11. This was 10. This was 18. And um, when we found, hang on, where did we get 29? Oh, we didn't know this one yet. Sorry, we didn't know this one. We just found that B was 62. Okay, and so then if I take, well, I know 180 minus 62 minus 29, this is going to tell me I have about an 89 degree angle. Well, when you look at this, we have, this is the largest angle, but this is not the longest side. So this tells us we did something wrong. So if we look at what's the supplement 180 minus 62.1, this, we should have not used this one. We should have let B equal 117-ish. 117.9, I think, or whatever. The, I'm, I'm skipping all the decimals because I just want to get the idea of this apart across to you. Um, so what you might do, the way that I might check all of these problems when you're doing law of sine, law of cosine, is always verify at the end, is the largest angle across from the longest side, etc. Because if we go with this, this 89 degree is not is the biggest angle in here, but it's not across from the longest side. So we needed to use the supplement to be back here. So in summary, find the largest angle first if they give you side, side, side. Always find the largest angle. Find the one that could be obtuse using the law of cosine because the law of cosine will find an obtuse answer, whereas the law of sine would not. You would get something, the law of sine would have given you this acute answer and you'd have to know to take its supplement. I hope that was helpful. I do know this is not um, on the AP test, but I still think it's important. So Good luck. Go study. It's on my test. <laughs> All right. Work hard. Practice. Let me know if you have any questions.